Hello, 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 and praise the Lord. Don't allow anyone to move you from your place of promotion, elevation, or blessing in this season. The enemy is trying to frustrate some of you so that you would get to the point where you want to move, you want to just give up. You're like, you can have it. You can have this promotion. I'm looking for another job. You can have this marriage because I'm tired of the outside um, activities. Have you ever seen movies or you know, plays or seeing circumstances where people could be right in the midst of a blessing or breakthrough. And it may not even, the trouble may not even be coming. Let's take it as from a relationship um, point. It could be a great relationship, but it could be people surrounding the others and they just give up on the relationship because the parents don't like the fact that they're together or they may have went into a blended family situation and the kids were, you know, tried to come together. Whoever saw that movie, um, what was it called with the twin girls and, you know, they were doing everything that they could to move the woman out of the way. She needed to be moved out of the way anyway. She wasn't the, the right one. But just saying, when you know that it's a God, type thing and that opposition comes or whatever and everybody is trying to get you to move out of position not everybody because the word of God says that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but they are demonic forces they are principalities and high places so these principalities have been causing and wreaking all kind of havoc in your life trying to make you trying to frustrate you disgust you and move you out of your place of blessing and breakthrough some of you are right in the place of the of of, of where you are about to be blessed and so the enemy wants to move you i think about in my book when i was sharing just a snippet of how Tony came to my church to get me what I didn't include there was another test where this young man you know thought that he was my husband we were talking on the phone and all this other stuff and I realized that our conversation was getting a little too deep you know way deeper than what I had expected so I suggested that we you know start talking via email and all that because I knew from the get-go this young man wasn't my husband but you know I was asked just to talk to him or whatever and I I should have listened to what God said but anyhow you know after that you know it caused a little bit of confusion you know and it got me to the point where I didn't even want to continue going to my church because we had met up at a place to talk and discuss and I was like look I'm finally gonna tell him you know look uh, for the hundredth time I, I know that you're not my husband you know what I'm saying so you know, ain't going to be no talking, ain't going to be no texting, ain't going to be, I don't want you to be, you know, confused. I don't want to be confused. I don't, you know, it's, you know, I, I just want what God has for me. It ain't nothing personal. And so, you know, he was not too happy about that. And, um, I decided to meet him right before I had rehearsal. So when we got back from rehearsal, it was late. So I'm always on time. And then everybody knew that, you know, I was waiting on God. You know, that was my testimony. I'm waiting on God for my husband. But here I come to rehearsal late, you know, with this man. And um, I'm just like embarrassed. I'm like, they don't know the, shh, they don't know the entire, you know, story of why I'm here late, this and the other and all that. It just made me, I felt like it just made me look bad. So the enemy was trying to frustrate, frustrate me. He was trying to move me from my place of blessing because before I had went to that church, the Lord has spoke to me and said, look, this is where your husband's coming and your husband's coming to get you. So what the enemy wanted me to do was move from my place of blessing. He wanted me to move so that I would miss what God had for me. And I want to tell you where some of your greatest opposition is that is where the biggest blessing is going to come i'm telling you opportunities are coming in this season in the form of opposition i'm telling you you have to see with a god eye you have to be able to endure the test it fell on my spirit when the lord had downloaded this message to me and he said this test you have to pass this test you need to pass some of you i'm telling you you know you're supposed to get promoted on a job that you're trying to leave from because you are upset and 
frustrated with um with co-workers though the fact that you feel like it's been another promotion that's um been handed out that you hadn't get but the lord told you that this is the place that you will be blessed this is the place where you're going to receive and i'm telling you it may not even be the place catch this that you're going to stay that you're going to continue at but the initial blessing to launch you out and to move you or to equip you for this next level is that the place that you're having this opposition come on now so what i'm saying is you know you may be equipped here to get what you need to go to the next level to go to the next job you may have to endure some things because you're about to be promoted i tell you sometimes in a body of christ you know some opportunities aren't afforded to us so we don't get to get to certain levels that the lord wants us to get because we can't take anything People in the world take all kind of scrutiny, persecution, you know, all kind of stuff just for money's sake, just for their name's sake, just for their brand's sake. You know, they do all kind of things. And then when it comes back on them and everybody knows their business, they still make their appearance appearances. They still have their shows and they, they make money. capitalize they off of the bad things or the negative things that they have done or uh, bad mistakes that they have made. They capitalize off of it and make it into something something good they make it so that it works for them and come on now what did the word of God say that about everything that we do even the mistakes that we made he said that everything that the enemy means for evil he would turn around for our good actually didn't say that Joseph said you used it for my evil talking to his brothers but God used it to save many people alive come on now so anyway what we say and paraphrase and turn into a whole nother thing is whatever whatever the enemy means for evil God will turn around and he will make it he will make it for our good so we have to trust God I'm telling you because it's some opportunities it's some things that you are in right now and it looks bad it looks bad there are people come up and coming up against you but just like the title of this video says God said don't budge don't you budge don't you move don't you be moved you need to plant your feet you have to endure you continue to pray i'm telling you just like we said you know just like i was saying you know some of these people celebrities and all that they talk about them they they create blogs about them their business is all over the place you know they have gossip call columns telling all their business and then they still show up you cannot move them you cannot move them you cannot make them show up for another recording you cannot make them not show up to a grammy you cannot make them you know stop doing what they're doing and we know that we're doing things for christ we know that there's a blessing in that place where their opposition is and when we talk about God getting the glory. We must understand that getting the glory or giving God the glory, you know, or, or things happening for us really isn't glorious. There's some suffering attached to that glory. There is some, there is some, they say you, you see the glory, but you don't know. If my you story. want God to get the glory out of your life, you must be willing to suffer. You must be willing to go through something. You must be willing to take some things. Um, you must be willing to say, God, you know, this is tough, but it's for your glory. It's for your glory. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead and go through this. I'm going to go ahead and get through this persecution. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, keep coming to work, even though they're talking about me and they made up lies, you know, and they're trying to get me because I know that this promotion is right around the corner. Whenever God has something for you or promise, you know, tries to intercept he always tries to block that blessing but can i tell you he can't stop anything you have to reject it you have to this is an assignment this is a blessing that you're going to have to reject this is something that you're going to have to give away because it's yours your name is already on it it's signed sealed delivered it's certified mail it's coming straight to you and the only way that you do not get what god has for you has for you um is if you reject it yourself if you walk away so i'm telling you if you know that you're supposed to get promoted at a job don't leave the job because you're having um some issues if you're supposed to have a house and you keep on you know you're like it's too much stuff going on with this house and they keep saying that i can't get it and i have to send up paperwork and i didn't already sent paperwork and they're telling me to send more come on now this is why people in the world they persevere they go through they get turned down after audition after dish uh, audition but because they want that fame because they want to chase their dream and because they want to do this they keep on going they keep they hear the no but it, it does not affect them so how come 
the body of Christ, we can't take anything. You know what I'm saying? People tell us, no, they say you're not going to have it, but you have to say, look, I'm a king. Come on now. You may have now. created it. This company may have been a thought in your mind, but if he says that I'm supposed to have this position, I'm going to have this position. If I'm supposed to have this spot, I'm going to have this spot. If I'm supposed to have this house, I'm going to have this house. If I'm supposed to have this business to help people, because at the end of the day, it's not just about us living good. Come on now. We got to get back to kingdom kingdom mindset and we got to be able to he needs us to stay in position he wants us to be able to go through all the way through so he can position us he doesn't want us to retreat he doesn't want us to tap out okay he wants us to go through what if jesus would have tapped out when it got hard the closer it got to the cross come on now that was what he went through to reveal his glory. Come on now, the glory of God to finish his assignment. Come on now, some of us have some assignments to fulfill. No, we, we cannot be the savior of the world. There, there was only one savior. But in a sense, you're supposed to, to save and bring some people, help some people get saved and, and brought to Christ. And it may come through this new position that you have. You may need that position to be able to be equipped for what you need for this next assignment that God has for you. You know, we want the glory. We want the cards. We want the travel. We want to just say that we're traveling and we're speaking all over the world and we're praying for people. But ministry is not a glamorous thing. There are some great disappointments. There are some tears that are cried. There, there are a lot of things that you go through. And I'm telling you, you have to be able to stand. You have to be able to stand. You have to be able to endure for you to be able to get the blessings that you've been asked. Some of you have been asking for some pretty crazy stuff. Some of you have been believing God for some miracles, but you have to stay put. You don't budge. Don't budge. Don't move out of the place of your blessing because it's hard, because they're talking about you, because they know what you're going through. Don't get desperate to get out of your situation that you go and date the wrong person, court the wrong person, marry the wrong person. I'm telling you, God is getting the glory out of your testimony do not allow anything to push you don't allow time to make you go outside of god's will wait on god wait your blessing is coming be blessed